Hi guys, good day. It's me, the Chair MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the rhombus. Finding all sides and all angles. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have given rhombus rows and line segment EO that would be equal to 16. So once again, this EO, this is diagonal and that is equal to 16. RS, okay, this line segment RS, diagonal RS, that would be equal to 12. And we have given one angle, that would be angle R, OH, that is equal to 37 degrees. And we are told to find all sides and all angles. Alright, so once again class, before finding all sides and all angles, you need to master the properties of the rhombus. So I will just leave the link in the description down below. Alright, so let's start finding all sides and all angles. Now, the first property class that you need to remember in finding all sides and all angles... For finding the angles class, you need to remember this one, that diagonals bisect opposite angles. So this diagonal EO and this diagonal RS bisect opposite angles. Now what do you mean by bisect, sir? So this diagonal EO class cut this angle E and angle O into two equal parts. Okay, the word bisect there, you cut an object into two equal parts. So diagonal bisect opposite angles or diagonal bisects opposite angles therefore this diagonal EO cut this angle E and angle O into two equal parts therefore if this is 37 degrees for ROH this SOH is also 37 degrees alright now question why is that sir because this line segment EO Cut this angle, okay, this angle right here, class, this one. Okay, if you have angle O, this diagonal EO, this one, cut this angle, this angle right here, into two equal parts. This angle is congruent to this angle. So that's the first thing that you need to remember, class, with regards to the properties of a rhombus. So this diagonal right here, cut this angle into two equal parts. So therefore, if this is 37, this will be also 37 degrees. Alright, now next property, you need to remember in the rhombus that opposite angles are congruent. This angle E is congruent to angle O. So therefore, if this is 37 degrees, this one is also 37 degrees. Alright, so angle R E H is 37 degrees. If this is 37 degrees, this will be also 37 degrees. Opposite angles are congruent. Alright, easy, right? For the rhombus. Now, one property of a rhombus class that you need to remember, diagonals are perpendicular. What do you mean by that one, sir? When diagonal EO and diagonal RS intersect to each other, they form 90 degrees right angle. Okay, this angle right here, class, is 90 degrees. This angle right here is 90 degrees. This one is 90 and this one is 90. What do you mean by perpendicular line, sir? When you have two lines, class, cross to each other and they form 90 degrees angle this line class is what we call perpendicular lines okay so that's one property of a rhombus class diagonals are perpendicular when they cross to each other they form 90 degrees angle okay that's what we call class perpendicular lines so diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular therefore we can say that this angle r h o is 90 degrees Angle R, H, E is 90 degrees. Angle E, H, S is 90 degrees. Angle O, H, S, or you can, you can say it, angle S, H, O is also 90 degrees. Alright, so that's second property class of a rhombus that you need to remember also. That diagonals are perpendicular. Alright, so last one class, we're told to find this angle, angle right here. Alright, so let's find that angle. So we have a triangle. As you can see, class, we have a triangle R, H, O. So triangle R, R, H, O. So angle H, that's 90 degrees. And this O is 37 degrees. Now you need to remember, class, that every triangle, the sum of interior angles, it should be 180 degrees. Okay, so if you have any kinds of triangle, class equilateral, right triangle, isosceles triangle, okay, any kinds of triangle, 
the sum of these interior angles, it should be 180 degrees. So therefore, we have 90 and 37. The thing that we will do is we need to add this up and we subtract the answer from 180. Okay, because the sum of these interior angles, it should be 180 degrees. Do not forget about this one class. Any kinds of triangle, the sum of interior angles, it should be 180 degrees. That's automatic class. 180 degrees for the sum of interior angles. So we need to add this up and we subtract the answer. Okay, the sum of this one, we need to subtract it from 180. Alright, let's add this up. This will be 90 plus 37. So 0 plus 7, that is 7. 9 plus 3 is 12. And the answer, we subtract it from 180. So 180 minus 127. So this will be, borrow 1, this becomes 7. This becomes 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. 7 minus 2 is 5. 53. So therefore, this angle right here, class, is 53 degrees. Because if you add this up, 53 plus 37, that is 90. Plus 90, that's 180. So the sum class, it should be 180 degrees. The sum of interior angles, it should be 180 degrees. Okay, do not forget about this one class. The sum of any triangles of interior angles, that should be 180 degrees. Alright, so this will be 53 degrees. So if this is 53 degrees, this is also 53 degrees. Because diagonal bisect opposite angles. They cut this angle into two equal parts. So this is also 53 degrees. Now if this is 53, this is also 53 degrees. Opposite angles are congruent. So 53 degrees and 53 degrees. That's it class. All set for the angles. So easy right for the angles? Okay. So quite easy for the angles. So we're done with the angles. So once again, you can write this one. For the angles class, you can write this one angle R. E H so angle R E H R E H that is, that is equals to 37 degrees so that's how you write the angles class or you can write angle S E H or H E S so that's that's okay class that's actually the same so angle S E H that's also 37 degrees so you can try that one class, naming these angles. We already have the angles. Let's find all sides class. Okay, I hope you underst understand this one class in finding all the angles. Quite easy, right? So once again, if you want to learn more about finding all sides and all angles, we, we do have another video for this one class. This is already part two of our video in finding all sides and all angles. Alright, let's find all sides. So we're done in finding all angles. So we have given EO, line segment EO. Alright, that is 16, 16, the value of EO, that is 16. Therefore, this one right here is 8, and this one right here is also 8. Why is that, sir? Because diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. What do you mean by that one, sir? They cut each other into two equal parts. So, when diagonal RS intersect to diagonal EO, okay, when they meet each other class, they cut themselves into two equal parts okay if we have line segment rs and we draw another line that is line eo this eo class cut this rs into two equal parts that's why the property there diagonals bisect each other they cut this rs okay this eo cut this rs into two equal parts therefore this line okay this this one is congruent to this one Okay, if this is H, this RH is congruent to SH. So, I hope you understand this one, Clint. So, if you understand that one, if this is 16 for EO, therefore, OH is 8, and EH is also 8, because 8 plus 8, that is 16. Alright, so if RS is 12, RS is 12, therefore, RH is 12 divided by 2, that would be 6, and SH is also 6. Alright, so this line is congruent to this line. Alright, so we have SH, that is 6. RH, that is 6. Because 6 plus 6, that is 12. And that's the value of RS. And EH, that is 8. OH, that is 8. Because 8 plus 8, that would be 16. And that's the value of EO. Alright, so almost done, class. We have 6, 8, 
and then we're locking the side. Now, always remember, class, that in a rhombus, all sides are congruent. So we're locking this one side. So let's draw this one. We have triangle. Okay, let's just draw this one triangle, class. R O H. We have triangle R O H, and we have R H, that is 6. And we have H O. So H O, that is 8. Or OH, that is 8. So let's draw this triangle class. I hope you understand this one class. I'm focusing in this triangle RHO. Okay, RHO, we have 6 and then we have 8. 6 and 8 class for RHO. And we're looking for this one side. Alright, and we have 90 degrees angle. Now once again class, if you have 90 degrees angle and you have a right triangle, you can find the side class by using the Pythagorean theorem. Once again, class, this is the longest side, and we call this side the hypotenuse. Do you still remember, class, Pythagorean theorem? Okay, if you have a right triangle, okay, if you have a right triangle, sir, when, when do we know, sir, when do we know that this triangle is a right triangle? If one angle class measures exactly 90 degrees, so we have 190 degrees, Therefore, we call this triangle right triangle. So, right triangle, when one angle measures exactly 90 degrees, we call this triangle right triangle. Now, if there is a right triangle, we can find its sides using Pythagorean theorem. Okay, and the formula, that would be C squared equals A squared plus B squared. And this C class is always the hypotenuse. Therefore, we're looking for this hypotenuse. So, C squared equals our A Okay, you can choose either 6 or 8 plus. That would be the same answer because this is addition. So, let's just use A. 6 for our A. So, 6 squared plus B is 8. 8 squared. So, actually, class for A and B, you can have this 6 or 8. It could be interchange class for A and, A and B. But for C class, the hypotenuse, it could never be interchange class. C is always the longest side. C is the hypotenuse. So, C squared equals 6 squared. So, 6 squared plus, what's the answer? That's correct. 6 squared, it means 6 times 6. That is 36. It's not 6 times 2 because it means 6 times 6. Plus 8 squared, that is 8 times 8. And 8 times 8, that is 64. C squared equals 36 plus 64. That is 100. And to get the value of C, you extract squared both sides. Extract squared both sides. And our C, the square root of 100 plus. Once again, class, we extract square root both sides so that we can cancel this exponent too. Extract square root both sides. And the square root of 100 plus, what's the answer, class? That's correct. That is 10. All right, that's it, class. All set for this one, class. Finding all sides. We're done with the rhombus. Finding all sides and all angles. So this is the value of the side. This is 10. Alright, so this is 10 for RO, line segment RO. Now, always remember, one property of rhombus, all sides are congruent. The definition of rhombus class, all sides are congruent. So this is 10, therefore this is also 10. This is also 10, and this is also 10. That's it, class. All set for the rhombus, finding all sides and all angles. So I hope you understand this one, class. So once again, if you like this video... Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends' class and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Especially class to those students who are really struggling in solving math problems. Once again class, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.